Archery has fast become the most popular segment in the North American hunting industry. With longer seasons and more available hunting territory, it's easy to see why. Hunting with archery equipment, however, is not something new. In fact, history shows that as long as 64,000 years ago, we were using the bow and arrow. And the crossbow has roots from ancient Greece as far back as 420 BC. Seems like a pretty crude method for use in today's high-tech world, but archery has stood the test of time because like us, it has evolved. This country was built on fishing, hunting, and trapping. Pursuing wild game in the vast lakes, rivers, and forests has been a part of Canada's heritage for over two centuries. Back then, it was about survival. Today, anglers and hunters act as stewards with the focus on conservation, wildlife management, and habitat preservation. Whether you're urban or rural, fish or hunt, you should support sound wildlife management and proudly say that I am an angler and hunter. The Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters presents Angler and Hunter Television. Brought to you by Canadian Tire, a proud partner of Angler and Hunter Television. Mercury Marine and Lund Boats. Yamaha ATVs. What kind of Yamaha are you? Browning, the best there is. Rapala. Excalibur crossbows, compact recurve technology, the new matrix changes everything. And Yukon gear. That is a bruiser. Recently, we invited other outboard owners to look deeper into Mercury Verado. The mid-range throttle response is amazing. Got a lot of power for low RPM. Whoa. I can't get over the, the, the power that it has, how quickly it accelerates. The torque is unbelievable. Verado is up to 13% quicker than other four-strokes. Visit mercurymarine.com to see more ways Verado beats the competition. Mercury Marine, look deeper. Feel that bad boy? Think GPS is just for getting you to the lake? Think again. The new iPilot wireless GPS trolling system can hold your boat in place like an electronic anchor, record and retrace productive fishing paths, automatically keep you on any bearing you choose, and take total command of speed and steering. iPilot controls your boat with wireless GPS precision so you can focus on fishing. And it's only from Minn Kota. Suffolk 832 is constructed with seven strands of Dyneema and a single strand of Gore Performance Fiber. It's the roundest, longest casting line in the world. It offers superior abrasion resistance so you can fish it anywhere. It's the strongest, most sensitive, and durable small diameter braid ever to hit the water. Nice fish, Brett. Thanks. Suffolk 832, always use the best line. Closed captioning of Angler and Hunter Television is provided by Ontario Out of Doors Magazine. Now, traditionists will say the bow and arrow is king, but recently the crossbow has come on as a strong contender for the ultimate way to utilize archery for hunting purposes. Ah, 
Hey, we're at the tail end of winter. I'm uh, just north of Belleville, and I'm going to see the guys at the Southeast Ontario Archers Club. I got a brand new Christmas present here from Excalibur. It's the Matrix 405. And uh, I'm going to go and walk a 3D range, outdoor range, and uh, sight it in and get ready for the season. It's, uh, it's very important if you're getting into archery is, is to practice and, and what I'm going to do and go through today is basically what you should do probably once a year, whether you're an expert or a beginner. The Southeastern Ontario Archers Club is a 3D course on the Rackstacker property and what we do is we encourage people to come out and at least take a tour of the farm. They can you know, bring their bows if they'd like, they can shoot after we go for the tour, but we, we normally show the guys what we offer and right now we have 22 3D archery targets. The course is fun, even for beginners, but we offer a different topography than, than the flatlands. So we've got uh, open fields, we've got in, in bush opportunities to shoot. We can shoot from 20 yards right out to 70 yards, depends, and we also change up our targets on a monthly basis as well. We have about 18 to 20 targets that we uh, maintain on the course. It's well groomed, it's all maintained throughout the year, so guys can go and spend two and a half hours in the bush with the guys. Most guys bring two or four guys to the course so they can entertain their friends or whichever. Uh, we also have a pond that you can sit by and if you want to bring a lunch and enjoy your, your day, it's, uh, it can be a fun, fun event. Our course is more for the beginner or even the person that wants to just get into archery. We're not always about hunting and stuff. But we encourage getting young children out here. It's, a, it's more of an entertainment for the guys. We're not, uh, we're not set up professionally to hold big tournaments or anything. It's more just if you, if you got a bow and you want to go out and have fun with your buddies, come on out and have a good time. I encourage taking children out as well if you've got kids with traditional bows that you want to get into archery as well. My daughter, she's nine years old this, uh, this spring and we shoot every summer. Typically on Sundays, the family day, we enjoy our, our archery shoot. Adding the latest electronics and accessories to your boat might seem a little costly and intimidating, but the fact is they can help improve your skills and give you the edge over the fish. Down imaging is created with high frequency sound waves that are emitted in ultra thin slices. The returns from these waves produce a snapshot of what's below your boat. What used to look like a colorful blob or a mess of marks on your screen now becomes a well-defined picture, allowing you to differentiate between weeds, rocks, wood, and of course, fish meaning all you have to do now is cast out a lure. To see more ways to get the edge over fish, visit hummingbird.com. Angler and Hunter Television continues after the break. It's not about the shot itself. It's about all that came before it. A company that's given back to conservation so that the tradition of hunting will continue. A leader in innovation since its founding. It's the legendary excellence you've come to expect. You've got that history in your hands. Now it's about settling the crosshairs, focusing on that moment in time, and one legendary trigger pull that changes you. Winchester, the American legend. This is the Eliminator, a crossbow shooting machine. We shot five name brand compound crossbows, plus the recurve limbed Excalibur Matrix to see how long they'd last. The first fails after 138 shots. The second after 214 shots. Even the best fails at 500 shots, while the Excalibur Matrix is still going strong. In 25 years, I've never fixed one other than a string. Don't settle for a crossbow that doesn't last. Shoot an Excalibur. Gear up with Canadian Tire. Canada is a vast and varied land, and no one understands that better than anglers and hunters. Canadian Tire understands what anglers and hunters need. With nearly 500 stores coast to coast, you can be sure they know what's in your backyard. Every Canadian Tire store's product selection is built to serve their local community. Bow hunting is quickly gaining popularity, and for good reason. It challenges a hunter to get within a few meters of their quarry. 
In order to be effective, you have to have great aim, and making an accurate shot with an arrow takes hours of practice. Make sure your field or target points are the same grain as your hunting broadheads. By sighting in with these 100 grain target points, I know that when I take aim on the buck of a lifetime, my 100 grain broadhead will hit exactly where it's supposed to. Whether you're a serious hunter or new to the sport, Canadian Tire has the quality brand you expect and the cool new products you need. To find a Canadian Tire Pro Shop near you or see their expanded product selection, go online to canadiantire.ca slash pro shop. The modern compound bow is an impressive tool with high speed cams and ultra compact design that allow for fast, accurate and quiet arrow flight. But there's a limit to just how fast an arrow launched from a bow can travel. And we've all seen and heard of animals ducking arrows or flinching at the sound of a string being released. The effective range for a bow is still 10 to 30 yards, with a few exceptions of up to 40 yards. This brings us to the crossbow. With considerably faster and more accurate models hitting the market, the standard was set at 350 feet per second and deadly accuracy up to 50 yards. That is, until now. Enter the Matrix. Excalibur Crossbow has come out with a line of ultra compact recurve crossbows that kick out arrows at over 400 feet per second, meaning the archery game has changed and the old limits for distance and accuracy are about to be eclipsed. Even with older models of Excalibur Crossbows, you can see that animals had a chance to react at the sound of a string being released. Imagine the same shot with a bow, traveling considerably slower. The margin of error was quite large, especially the longer the shot being tried. With the Matrix, that problem is now a thing of the past. The blistering fast speed assures the arrow hits the target well before any sound can cause an animal to duck or flinch. Okay, so we've come up to the first target and uh, I've got my Christmas present here hanging off my shoulder. It's fresh out of the box and uh, normally a, a 15 yard shot like I'm going to do here is pretty standard but I, I'm going to put my uh, bipod up and make sure there's no room for error on my first shot and I'm just going to take a shot right out of the box. I don't know where this, where, where this bow is going to be shooting. So uh, once I do that then I'll be able to make some adjustments and then carry on through the course and start challenging myself and getting the crossbow fine tuned. So let me get set up here we'll make our, make our first shot and, and go from there. So normally with, uh, with every Excalibur I've ever had, usually my, uh, my shortest shot is uh, gonna be 20 yards. So the first, uh, the crosshairs are usually at about 20 yards. So I'm gonna shoot a little low and uh, see where this first shot goes. So I'm actually not gonna aim for the vital area on that target. There's a little piece of white patch of uh, fur there at the belly of this deer where it, where it meets the, the abdomen. And I'm gonna try and shoot right at the top of that and, and see where we are. And that's why I'm about uh, three inches high, maybe two inches high. Not bad, out of the box. Okay, so obviously uh, left to right seems to be pretty good at close range. I mean, I might make some fine tuning at a longer range shot, but now I'm gonna take a second shot and uh, make sure that it wasn't a fluke. So there's um, about a quarter sized hole uh, just above the shoulder there. It's probably the biggest hole you can see in the vital area. I'm gonna try and put a bolt right in there. Um, if I put my crosshair right on it, I'm obviously shooting a couple inches high, so I'm expecting to shoot high on it, but uh, we'll see what happens here. I'm wobbling. Just a bit high, but yeah. So there you go. Okay, so I'm at the uh, I'm at the second target. There's a black bear here, and it's uh, it's 25 yards, exactly 25 yards from here. So I'm going to set up, and uh, with my uh, Excalibur, I like to have the crosshair set at uh, 25 yards, and the reason for that is it allows me to make longer shots. And, and later in the show, we'll show you just how long of a shot you can make with this uh, Matrix 405. But, uh, but right now I'm going to set up, I'm going to make a 25 yard shot. It might take me, this is where I'll probably make most of my um, most critical adjustments on the scope if I'm going to have to do it. Um, 
I may not. I mean, as you can see, those first couple shots I took were, were bang on. So I'm going to predict I'm either um, maybe a little low, if not dead on, but, but we'll see. It's, uh, it's not a, a well-marked target, obviously, because it's a black bear, but um, the, the best thing to do is take two shots and see where you stand. So let's set up and do that. Okay, so I'm set up. I'm on my, uh, my bipod here. Now, you'll see on that bear, um, there's sort of a split where the head uh, is attached. Looks like someone's already taken a couple shots and, and hit it there. That's going to be my, uh, I'm going to go for a, a neck shot just above the shoulder and uh, probably dead center. So let's see where we are. This is 25 yards. Now this is where I hope my crosshairs um, are set for. And I'm about two inches high. Now normally I would take another shot to make sure I'm on, but because those first two shots I took at the uh, white tail target were so accurate, that shot is basically dead on, just a little high. So that's 25 yards, I'm a little high. So I know in fact I can now uncap my scope and make a couple of fine adjustments before I take my second shot and uh, go from there. So now, if you read on your scope, it'll say one click is a half an inch at 20 yards. So I'm shooting 25 yards. I'm about, I'm gonna say an inch and a half high. Um, so I wanna bring it down one inch. So I'm gonna bring it down two clicks, which should be an inch. So one click, two clicks. So in theory, um, I should be dead on now. I should be able to hit the neck right on that crack where the, uh, where the head meets the body on that target. And I should be relatively close to that uh, the other shot, just a little bit lower. So let's uh, set up and do that. Okay, so I'm gonna make my second shot now. And like I said, we should be just uh, below that shot if I can hold steady enough. Perfect. Look at that, I, I hit the split. So now, as you can see, that, uh, that's pretty awesome. So at 25 yards, it took me two clicks, one, one adjustment of my scope on a brand new crossbow, and I'm ready for hunting season. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a couple of shots on this course that are a little more challenging, maybe from a different elevation, um, and eventually we're going to go to the end of this course and I'm going to try and do a really long shot that uh, um, five or ten years ago probably wasn't possible. In order to have the edge well in the field, you need to make sure you're using the right ammunition for the game you're after. Winchester Ammunition has specially suited cartridges and shells that are specifically designed to maximize takedowns and improve accuracy for all species. For shotgunners, AA tracker target and game loads are designed to let you see what you've been missing. A 12 gauge shotgun shell unleashes a column of shot from a shotgun barrel at about 1200 feet per second. Too fast for the human eye to see the pellets in flight. This can make it extremely difficult to master the correct lead on flying clay targets or game birds. AA tracker is the first shotgun shell to feature a weighted wad that actually tracks with the shot string. This allows the shooter or instructor to quickly determine where the shooter is missing making it easy to adjust and hit flying targets shot after shot. The wad tracks a full one ounce of shot downrange for highly effective performance on clay targets and fast flying game. The AA tracker load is available in two highly visible colors, orange for overcast conditions or dark backdrops, and black for clear skies or light backdrops, giving you the edge on fast flying game birds or the competition at the range. For more ways to get the edge, check out winchester.com. Angler and Hunter Television continues after the break. Now's the time you've been waiting for. Lund 1775 and 1875 Pro V's are back. Pro V's are built tough with double plated hulls, marine grade treated plywood, and reinforced transoms. Plus, Lund's exclusive IPS2 hull provides precise boat control and a soft, dry ride. State-of-the-art live wells, accessories, and tons of storage for rods and gear, making all Pro V's the choice of professionals. Visit your local Lund dealer and reward yourself with the best. You've waited long enough. 
There's a huge low pressure system centered over the state, going to continue to whip our area with rain, sleet, and high wind. There are already multiple weather related accidents on the freeway. You'd have to be a hardcore duck hunter to go out in this weather. Take it easy this morning, head to downtown. The Browning A5. Come hell or high water. Take the water by storm with Humminbird Sonar Technology. Choose between two high-performance display modes and decide how you read the water with Switchfire Sonar. Seek picture-like images to either side of the boat with side imaging. Or choose all new down imaging for crystal clear views directly below you. Fish smarter with Switchfire, side imaging, and down imaging. Only from Humminbird. Simply, clearly, better. Okay, so this is uh, theoretically probably going to be the shot that I know my crossbow is perfectly set up with. It's set up in increments of 10, um, I bang on at 25, so this is a 35 yard shot at this wolf, it's uphill. I'm going to aim just behind the shoulder where the dark fur kind of meets that white fur. I'm right, I shot a little bit right, so I'm gonna have to take another shot at this. I spoke earlier uh, in the course that my first shot was about a half an inch right, and then that bear shot was another inch right. Now, I'm probably two inches right, so the further I get out, the further right this crossbow is gonna shoot, so I'm gonna have to make an adjustment, and I'm gonna wanna click it probably, I'm gonna wanna bring it over an inch, I'd say, um, and then it should be bang on. Okay, so I adjusted my scope. I should uh, I should be shooting a little further to the left now, and probably bang on. Split them in two. Have a look. Whew. Now, normally uh, this isn't part of the the range. Steve set this up for us to see if we can. Uh, show how accurate and how fast shooting this uh, Matrix 405 is. Take everything off. It's a bit of a breeze, but it's coming from behind me, so um, there's a bit of a margin of error. But I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. I shot left about uh, well, I'm going to say six inches from where I was aiming, but I do got a crosswind here, so that's uh, right elevation. Right to left was off a little bit, but that was wind. Okay, so as you can see down there, I'm bang on as far as elevation goes. I just had to, uh, I'm going to try and do a little shot to the right here. I'm going to compensate a little bit for this crosswind we got. It's not much of a breeze, but it's enough probably at, at 70 yards that it's moving that bolt. So I'm gonna bring it over about an inch. I'll place my uh, crosshairs just above the shoulder, and I should, uh, I should be right where I want to be. Perfect. That's incredible. Excalibur Matrix Mega 405. I just made two amazing shots at 70 yards. From, from five to 70 yards, I mean, there really is no limits for this crossbow. And it's uh, definitely the most impressive piece of archery equipment I've ever laid my hands on. When I got into archery back when I was a young age, I enjoyed the sport of it before I got even into hunting. So I encourage young children to go out and, and get into the sport. You know, archery has gotten very, very big over the years, right across the country. And to have this course available through our farm and allowing people to come out here and enjoy the sport is something that we, uh, we encourage. And, you know, we're probably gonna start working with some educational programs through the schools as well, as well as a local fish and game club. And uh, we're gonna be holding a little, little more fun youth events out here 
So I encourage the kids to get into it. If the parents aren't into it, it's something that uh, they're gonna wanna at least look at. So if they want, give us a call, come on out, check it out, and I'll show you the course. It's fun, it's safe, and it's entertaining with your friends. Angler and Hunter Television was brought to you by Canadian Tire, a proud partner of Angler and Hunter Television. Mercury Marine and Lund Boats. Yamaha ATVs. What kind of Yamaha are you? Browning, the best there is. Rapala. Excalibur crossbows, compact recurve technology. The new matrix changes everything and Yukon gear. Looking for more information on today's show or past episodes? Visit www.ahtv.com. Whether it's watching a fishing or hunting edge online or looking for other great sites of the Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters, be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. And remember to conserve and protect our great outdoors.